So this is the Conway Select Board, October 12th uh, meeting. The first uh, item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of September 27th, with, which just came out. They were very, very fresh. I didn't even get to read through them. If, um, I'm okay approving it if you all read them already. I, I, I read the original ones and they look good. And I just was asking Veronique what the differences were. And there were very small changes, but I like yeah. the original ones. I read both and I was not here for that meeting. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they both you're, were still, great. <laughs> you're still allowed to vote on it though. Yeah, no, I, so, they look good to me. Okay. I will make a motion that we accept the minutes from the uh, last meeting. Second. Okay, all those in favor? I vote aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay, but Erica would be abstaining, right? I no. You have to. You're allowed to vote on the minutes, even. Um, even though I wasn't there to vote. the last meeting? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And yeah, so the next item is the warrants, which are not ready, and it was not our call. <laughs> yep. Um. The next item meetings attended by select board members. Uh, hold on, Phil. So, I, when should I, when will they be ready so we can come down and see them on the table? Will it be Thursday? I would say they they'll be ready by probably tomorrow afternoon, but Thursday morning for sure. I mean, could we come down and sign them then, or yeah. we're, would we we still have to vote on them though at a select board meeting? Yeah, I think. Okay. Be, yeah. Yeah, we would still have we would still have to vote on, on them in open meeting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so meetings attended by select board members, Erica. Well, I went to the, um, ribbon cutting of the playground structure at Conrad Grammar School. That was the last meeting, um, that I attended <laughs> over the past month and it was very sweet. <laughs> it really was. And I was glad to be there. Um, Bob? Well, I, we we had a conservation commission meeting. That's all. All right. Well, yeah, and you were at the playground too, uh, right? But that was actually more than two weeks ago, I think. I was. We, yeah. we just okay. never raised it last last select board meeting because uh, I wasn't there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we went, could have. But and you went to the frontier capital meeting, right? And I, I went to the Frontier Capital meeting. Yes, we got a long, that's right, I did. We, a long tour of uh, the various, I'll say, problems at Frontier that we're going to be looking at for the future. But we also got a great look at the new Frontier track, which is very impressive. And, uh, you know, it is really nice to see things that, 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 as a as a region, we passed money on to do, and they have been done just like just like the playground. I mean, it was so nice to see the playground. We we looked at plans, and then we go there, and there it is, and the kids are loving it. Well, the same with the the uh, frontier track. It's beautiful, and uh, it's not quite open yet. And I don't know if they're going to do a ribbon cutting ceremony, but it was beautiful. And then we walked through the rest of the school and looked at leaking roofs and all kinds of things that need to be worked on. So there's lots more to do, but we did look at something beautiful. It was very nice. I also did go to the, the, the uh, Franklin County Technical uh, School yeah. as the rep that we voted me on last week, but it turns out, and I think I explained this in an email, but that what they were looking for was they're looking for one town member to join a five person uh, negotiating committee and and there were three or three of us there from various towns and there was really one guy who really wanted to do it and had some experience and you know he, he's worked with unions and and uh and then two of us that had never done anything like that before and so we we both said you should do it and so he's very happy to do it so i'm i'm not going to be con i'm not going to be on that negotiating committee we Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> yeah, you get the credit for doing it without having to do it. That's like the best of both worlds. Um, so I knew you would love that. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> so um, I, I was supposed to be at that capital meeting, but I, I couldn't make that. And um, there was a frontier meeting. And um, so there's another capital meeting on Thursday. You know, you yes. have a message about that. Okay, yes, good. I'll be I'll be at that one, I think. Um, and uh, I was the one of the speakers at the uh, uh, grants for good statewide Zoom seminar, whatever. So that there was a lot of people on that call, but um, I thought it went well. I just talked about our carbon credit thing. We are the only one in the state doing an aggregate. There's a lot of questions. A lot of people are interested in it. The, um, the, the person that works at DEP that actually approved the grant that, that we're operating under was super impressed. And I've been speaking with him. So uh, invited to apply for the next round to keep supporting this. Um, and uh, yeah, so that went well. And there was another couple too. I don't even remember. <laughs> public... Public comments, do we have any public, you know, old business? So new business, appoint Lori Lucier pending Board of Health nomination. I think the Board of Health has to nominate first. It did. Oh, okay. It, as of the time the agenda was being created, they only met last night. Okay. So I couldn't okay. sit down that they had done it, but they have. <laughs> okay, so this is... Appointing her permanent clerk to the Board of Health, um, providing that total hours in clerkships of all time do not exceed 40 per week. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so that being said, um, I'm, I'm okay with appointing Lori to, to that. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay. okay. Lori Luce here. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So congratulations, Lori. Oh, ah, okay. So the, next, so the next thing is to um, vote Lori Lucier vacation sick and personal days. So, and this is interesting just because she has three positions. Neither one of those positions by themselves would make her eligible for vacation sick or personal days, but combined, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to argue that they don't. I mean, it's 40 hours a week. So, um, and that's what the full-time, so she would, she is now, you know, 40, whatever. So that's, you get that stuff when you're working 40 hours a week, I think. Uh, but I, um, and, and how will the cost of that be divided up among her various clerkships? Yeah, so that's going to come out of well, you know what? I'll have to I'll have to double check with Jan about that. Um, but it should be coming out of the two, um, uh, excuse me, the assessors and the board of health. Oh, oh. Um, because you know, it is what is the annual cost to the town of vacation, sick, and personal days. Well, it's it's just days not worked. It's not, you know, so it's not like it's added. Right. Yeah. So it's not costing the town anything. Not really. No. I mean it's costing it's it's a time, it's kind of a time swap thing when you think about yeah. it. Really. Right. So, yeah. She was already getting insurance just from being the, the clerk. Yes. The so Yes. And to me, I mean, anybody who's doing the, the 40 hours, it just seemed um, justified to, to say, you know, they should be getting sick and holidays. And yeah, no, absolutely. Vacation. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with it. So, and, and do the vacation benefits start as if, you know, so she's... Um, whatever just what year does she come in on, on the on the schedule of those it would actually be starting after this meeting if it's approved so this would be year one or year zero or whatever right start. but okay. she's been the clerk now for a year or whatever you know i mean more right? than that. well it's she has the, the three positions so she's just tonight if you you know since you just appointed her she's just tonight starting as the permanent board of health clerk right so the full time would kick in as of after that vote tonight. It 
you know, at least that makes sense to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Um, so did we vote on that already? No. All right. Motion. Motion to, um, yeah, to do that for Lori's vacation, sick and personal days. Second. Aye. Aye. All in, yes, yes, so unanimous. Next item, appoint Kenny to as the building and grounds maintenance technician. Um, uh, and I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Bolzer, Bolzer, Bolzer. I'm, I'm okay. always getting it wrong, but it's Boisvert. Okay. <laughs> I should know oh, better. Greenwoods, Boisvert. Um, and I believe, Ron, is that you on the phone there? I am. Yes. Okay. Yep. I, I didn't even know you were on the phone because it just shows the town number. I just thought that was Louise. Sorry. Hi, Ron. I, I would have skipped ahead. Yep. Good evening. Congratulations. <laughs> on what? Uh, hiring hiring <laughs> this, this person. So, so Ron, this, so, this is, yeah. so, so this is the thing with, with, um, with not necessarily Kenny specifically, but like anybody that we hire full time now. That is also um, that's also otherwise employed by any other town department. So what we're trying to do is like eliminate the need, like the built-in need to like pay overtime. Um, and so, and and the concern is with someone that is going to be working forty-hour weeks that any any um like any fire call that they would go out on um, out, you know, outside of work hours that, that the town would be paying overtime for that. So, yeah. um, and, and, I understand that. <laughs> and, 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 it's, been... it, and it's actually one of the things in the past that, that um, auditors have like flagged for us that, you know, we, that we have to cut down on, um, uh, you know, regularly scheduled overtime. Um, or, or regularly foreseeable overtime, like they get it, snowstorms, et cetera, and other, you know, but, but so, so we, we have been talking about this um, and Bronique has come up with a bunch of different ways to handle it, but um, we're going to need to have a meeting, um, Ron, with like you, Bronique, the fire chief and myself to like work out a way to do this for everybody that doesn't hurt everybody, but doesn't, um, like start a relationship right away that we know is going to include overtime regularly. Does that make sense? Yes, very much so. I appreciate that. I've been very concerned about this right along. I don't think it's fair to the other firefighters. Right. If this happens, I I think it's not good for the morale that somebody is making – because they have a different job in the town right. that they're making the extra money for doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. All right. I do so, know that in other towns, they don't allow it to happen. They make them make a choice. I don't yeah, there, know. And there, there's actually sounds a, like that's. Yeah. And what, what we found what Brian really found from doing a survey of all of our neighboring towns is that, the, the towns, they, 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 there's a lot of different ways that they're doing this. And so, I, um, you know, st- uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into it now, but it's, you know, the, yeah. I, I, think, I think that there's a, that, that if we all sit down, we can figure a way to do this that doesn't hurt anybody, but doesn't require the town to pay overtime to a select few. And, um, mm-hmm. and so I think we're going to have that meeting this week or... Um, I know Veronica's going to schedule it, but so, so if it's okay, we can tables, table Kenny's appointment for two weeks, or you want him to get started right away? Well, you gotta, if, if this is going to be discussed shortly yeah. here, I just assume, I mean, cause it, it wouldn't, cause if you set the, if we appoint him now and he, and then we have the meeting afterwards. You, it's not like you're going to go back and change it on him. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah, correct. I mean, okay. And so now you've already set the precedent. 
So it's almost going to be impossible to make a new policy um, going forward with it, the way I see it. For him. Yeah. So I think we need to deal with the problem or the issue Good. to begin with before we appoint him. But Good. Ron, you, you sound like you have this problem already. There is this problem already. And so, so any solution would have to address that too. Well, I would hope that it would. That's so, I mean, so to me, that means we're going to appoint him now, and and the solution is going to cover everyone, not just. Well, I, I can't. I well, I can't say that the solution is going to affect the one that's already in force, because I don't know what we're going to do. We're, what we're going to do. Okay. You, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, I think it's a complicated situation. Yeah. The only thing that I would, I would like is if we could have the, get this straightened out. And as soon as we do, if there was any chance of doing a, um, an earlier select board meeting, so we didn't have to wait the two weeks to appoint him. If it, things get worked out, I don't know yeah. if that's a possibility. So we're not dragging it out for another two weeks. We are having an early select board meeting, right? With the with the assessors. Yeah, but I think that's too early. That's tomorrow. That may be too early. Okay. So so maybe what maybe what we can do if the rest of the select board is willing can authorize the chair to um, once the policy is enacted that would. Uh, solve our concerns to make the appointment on the select board's behalf. And that way I can just sign it and we don't have to have a meeting about it. That'd be great. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So does that, that probably should be by motion. I don't know. So um, can I just clarify? Does well, that here's the thing. Excuse me. I think that this, if you make a policy, it's going to have to be voted by the select board. That's exactly. That was my point. Yeah. Yep. That's a good point. Okay. So we're just going to have to deal with this when we can. But if and and if it's ready to go, I have no problem um, scheduling a brief select board meeting if it's ready to go before two weeks. Great. So we and we can do that because we're on Zoom. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay. So that would be great with me. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing at all against Kenny, nothing specific to Kenny at all. It's just, but this is something that we need to, to deal with. And lots of people have kicked this can down. Lots of previous select words have kicked this can down the road a little bit. So it's just time to deal with it. So thank you. And th thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And yeah, we'll be, we'll have our meeting hopefully soon. I know we got to get Jan and um, Chief Baker. And Veronica and myself. So, okay. Great. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. The next item the town administrator requests to do away with annual appointments for staff. Yes. So, what this is, is, um, you know, it, it obviously makes all the sense in the world. You have to reappoint um, committee members and board members. Um, and obviously you don't do that with elected officials, but, um, to me, I, I, I couldn't find a good reason why the town was actually reappointing staff members, such as the treasurer or tax collector, or, um, every year to me, it didn't really make any sense, um, because they're staff members. So why, you know, it just seemed, um, a little redundant and perhaps a bit rude to tell them every year, oh, you're appointed again, um, even though they're staff members who've been working for years and years. So I, I wanted to make the request that we just consider them staff and um, don't have to reappoint so them. So by staff, you mean they're hired? Correct. Yes, they've already been appointed by the select board the first time. Um, so say somebody... Um, you know, anybody in the DPW who's working there or, you know, you're all our regular staff people. Um, and, you know, when I came in, I found that appointment letters were being sent out 
every single year to every single town employee. Um, and I guess I just, I, and I've talked with other towns and, and um, other agencies and I, nobody can tell me a good reason why we would need to reappoint staff every year. To hired staff. Hired staff, right. Just hired staff. So that's my request. Do away with the paperwork. <laughs> To me, it would be better if we if we confirmed their hiring instead of confirmed their appointment. Uh, you know, I mean, when they're hired originally for for Kenny, for example, we wouldn't be appointing Kenny; we'd be hiring Kenny, or we'd be confirming mm -hmm. Ron's hiring. Well, the the select board is the authority, the hiring authority. So you know, yeah. we could use that word, but I, I guess to me, just saying every single year to somebody like. Um, you know, the tax collector or whoever that, you know, we're, we're reappointing you. It just seemed a little odd to me. I mean, all the employees are at will anyway, so you don't really need to remind them, <laughs> you know, and we have such wonderful employees that I, I kind yeah. of really would like to just say, guess what? You're hired. <laughs> are there, Veronique, are there any other towns who do mm -hmm. annual appointment letters? I couldn't find any, and they actually kind of looked at me strange and said, why would you do that? Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I, I couldn't find a good reason. And I talked with MIAA, and, you know, I just, so. Did you say we do that to overburden Louise even more? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Phil, yeah. whoever has to sign every single one. Right, that's right, right. <laughs> You know, the, the only thing, you know, when, when there's like silly stuff that you do, you always like wonder, there has to be a purpose for doing this, right? Like, like previous generations in the same spot must have thought this is really silly. Why are we doing this? And gotten some kind of answer, like you have to do it. So, um, but and do we know what that reason, I mean, <laughs> but you know, I, I don't, yeah. I could not find anything in the files about why this was started or, yeah. And, and again, when I did my research with other municipalities, yeah, it, it just, did, there just didn't seem, it could have been something as simple as, well, you know, they were appointed once, so we'll just go ahead and do it annually. I, I don't but it, know. But it's, but it's not an appointment. They were hired. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it's. So right, to send so out another appointment letter just seems very odd to me. I mean, you're appointed to a committee. Yeah, but you don't right. get rehired every year. Right. Exactly. Yeah. If you're lucky. So, so we can <laughs> pretend that there's a reason to do it or we can just dispense with it. So I'm okay with dispensing with it. I don't know. Well, I feel like uh, Veronique has done some research and yeah. it's not... Okay. A common practice and I, I mean I don't like what would be the argument for it like oh, why well, should... if they weren't you know if it, to make it easier to not rehire them for no reason but if they're hired at will then right so that exactly it's I mean theoretically the reason could be that um it, it could be linked with some sort of evaluation process um uh, you know, as but I it could be, but it's not, it's not so, exactly, exactly. That is, the, yes, that is why I said you pretend that there's a reason for it or you get rid of it. But, um, An absence of, yeah, all right. So, a motion to do away with the annual appointments for staff. Uh, if are you making that motion? Because I will second, sure. okay, I'll vote well, aye, <laughs> me too. Hi. Okay. So a tiny, tiny drop in the bucket of less stuff for Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all. Thank you. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Anybody have anything? Okay. We need a town administrator update. Oh, yes, which is very brief. And I think um, all of you know this, but I'll read it in anyway. That most of last week, um, almost all of last week was spent doing the, um, the first of the three classes that I'm taking to get the MCPPO designation, which is the Massachusetts Certified Public Purchasing Official. 
So I had to take three classes in order to get this official designation from the state. So I took the first one, which was called Public Contracting Overview and passed that one. So now I've signed up for the second two. Um, the first one will be Design and Construction Contracting and that's gonna be held in December. So I'll be out for a week then. Um, and then the third one is supplies and services contracting, but that's, um, it's self-paced over about nine weeks, I think. So at least I won't have to be out of the office every day, almost for a whole week. Um, so hopefully, and that begins in February, hopefully everything will be wrapped up by April and then I'll get my designation. So. Thanks for doing it. So sure. It's very interesting, actually. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Um. I, 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 well, that's nice of you to say that it's very interesting. <laughs> it was also great to know how much I already knew from all my past municipal work. So that was encouraging as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, select board member comments or concerns. Erica? No. I don't have any. Bob? No. Yeah. Me I, me, I am a bubbling cauldron of comments and concerns, but nothing relevant to this meeting. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, mail, letter from MassWorks. So yeah, so I'm, if you didn't see that, we the application for the community septic project was once again for the fifth year in a row. Um, denied. So that means the earmark that we set aside is also freed up. Um, so that letter said that we could ask for feedback on our application. Yes, we always should. I'm sure it's going to be like, you know, you're too small. You're yeah. Like all that stuff good to ask. Yep. Yeah. And that was, um, and it's so you brought that up about asking for feedback from the state agency. Like we we had um, uh, Veronica, what was the other call that we were on with the state agency and uh, about the the grants for the, the municipal the, vulnerability the, program? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So so that was another meeting that um, that I went to and Veronica went to, but that was with the state agency that is administering those grants. Mm -hmm. And um, and and they made a decision that like a certain little part of a certain project was unpermittable. Um, but and it's just a few people in this agency, not the ones we were talking to. And there is zero visibility into that process and they don't communicate. They won't get on the phone. You can't find out why they said what they said. And individual members from our town um, thought that they were wrong, that it is, you know, and that they had looked this stuff up and it's it, whatever. And it, so it, it, not every agency is at all interested in that. And especially like what you're trying to plan for the future of, about these projects with the state agency. And like, they don't, you're guessing about things that you might be able to do or not do because they haven't told you their reasoning and they won't. And <laughs> We asked about that. They were asked about that. And they said that they just don't feel like they would have, it would be any value for them as state employees to have discussions with the people from the towns that are asking for things. So and I just thought that was ridiculous reasoning. And I said so. Um, um, so yeah, that, okay, before that tangent, um, yeah. So it, it got denied. Better luck next year for the sewer rats. Um, announcements, I don't think so. Do we have any? Next meeting is uh, 13 days from today. The 25th, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah, Monday the 25th at 6 p.m. And with that, um, we are adjourned, right? We don't need a vote for that. We can just adjourn. I'll vote. I vote. Right. I vote we adjourn. But all right. yes, we're all adjourned. We'll be adjourned. Yes. Okay. Nice Good night, everyone. Thank you, everybody.